Are you having mic issues with your Steel Series Arctis 7? One of the common issues for this headset is about the microphone refusing to work. In this video we'll show you the fixes that you can try if your Steel Series Arctis 7 mic is not working on your Windows 10 PC. Solution 1. Position the microphone properly. If your friends complain that they can barely hear you, it's possible that you may have simply forgotten to properly position the mic. Many players often take for granted the directional design of the Arctis 7 Clearcast mic. Make sure that the flat head of the microphone is facing your mouth when you speak. The recommended distance of the mic head from the corner of your mouth should be between 1 and 1.5 inches. Next, check the microphone settings. If your mic is properly positioned but your PC is not detecting or if the sound is too low, the next good thing that you want to do is to ensure that you check a couple of settings. Allow apps to access the Arctic 7 mic. Press the Windows key or the Start button on the taskbar. Type in Mic Privacy. Click the Choose which apps can access your microphone. Make sure that you enable Allow apps to access your microphone. Test your microphone to check for the problem. Use the correct default format. Press the Windows key or the Start button on the taskbar. Type in Control Panel. Open the Control Panel app. Select Hardware and Sound. Under the sound section, click on Change System Sounds. Click the Recording tab. Right-click on the microphone that you're using. Should have a green check mark and click on Properties. Click on Advanced. Make sure the default format is set to 48,000 Hz. Test your microphone to check for the problem. Change Windows Mic Settings. Press the Windows key or the Start button on the taskbar. Type in Control Panel. Open the Control Panel app. Select Hardware and Sound. Under the Sound section click on Change System Sounds. Click the Recording tab. Double-click the Steel Series headset and select the Levels tab. In the Levels tab make sure to set it to 100. Test your microphone to check for the problem. Next, update audio drivers. If your Arctis 7 mic is still not working after checking all the settings earlier, it's possible that the cause of the problem may be old or corrupted audio drivers. To do this, right-click the Start button located at the bottom left of the screen. Select Device Manager. You can also access Device Manager by accessing the Control Panel. Select Select Audio Inputs and Outputs and click on the drop-down arrow to see your devices. Right-click Microphone 2 Steel Series Arctis 7 and select Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Drivers. Wait for a few minutes to complete the process. Test your microphone to check for the problem. Next, reinstall SteelSeries Engine software. If nothing has changed after you've updated the drivers, try to delete and reinstall the SteelSeries Engine software. Sometimes system updates may corrupt and interrupt the normal process of an application. A quick reinstall may help fix the problem for you. Here are the steps to uninstall the SteelSeries Engine. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run Command app. In the Run dialog box type in appwiz.cpl and click OK. In the Uninstall or Change Your Program window, right-click Steel Series Engine and click Uninstall. Follow the on-screen instructions to delete the program. Restart your PC then go back to the Steel Series website to download Steel Series Engine again. After the installation test your microphone again. Next, perform a hardware reset. The final fix that you can try in this case is to reset the Arctis 7 firmware. This may work if the cause of the problem is a corrupted firmware following an update. Here's what you need to do. Disconnect any cable from your Arctis 7 headset. Carefully remove the cushion on the left ear cup the side where the mic is. Locate the reset button and press and hold it for one second using a paper clip. The reset button is inside a pinhole. Once you've reset the headset charge it again for another 10 minutes before attempting to power it back on. That's it we hope this video is helpful to you please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.